my birthday. <laughs> I just thought I'll come on here and I wanted to share a dream that I had and um, the, the dream that I had had to do with the cross of Jesus and with sin. Um, so I had a dream. First of all, Jesus, um, God is a consuming fire. Um, at the end, our, our works will be tested by fire. And if they're made out of stubble, they'll burn, and we'll be left with our salvation, but our works will have burned. So um, the reason we need Jesus is, is because of sin, and all of us have sin. The dream that I had, um, okay, I was in a house with my husband. Um, a light came like snowdrops. The light, uh, it looked like snowdrops but was made out of light and it was scanning and as it 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 uh, we were standing up and all of a sudden we dropped to our faces on the ground and had no power to move and the light went over top of our garments um, I noticed he looked very beaten up and like he'd been dragged through the mud so um, it says if we do not have Jesus Christ we are dead in our transgressions um, and that's the result of sin. Um, that's what our souls look like when we do not have Christ. But anyway, um, in my dream, the light's scanning. And I have a white garment on, but it has um, dirt on it, on the front, on my skirts. Like on the front there, on my lap part, had dirt. And as the light uh, scanned and hit the sin, the holy presence of God's um, the sun set fire actually and I just started melting it became so hot and so intense I I cried out the blood of Jesus and the cross in desperation and straight away the burning ceased the sin had been washed I looked up underneath the roof was my life and I uh, took my breath away how short it was I remember thinking oh my gosh I felt like you know my life was nearly over it looked so short to how long my lifeline was into it was my husband's joined into it it was like a line okay and the line was full his line had no cross in it so it was inky like you'd shot an ink into it my one had a cross joined into it therefore it was a purified whiter than white almost silver looking it was a very beautiful white um, my lifeline, but my poor husband had no cross in it. Um, so, uh, what Jesus was showing me, when uh, you are, the cross is joined in to your lifeline, when you've cried out to the name that is above every other name and the only name by which man may be saved, and Jesus is real. Uh, I've seen Jesus, I've I've died and met Jesus, and he's 100% real, and he's God. He's the beginning and the end, um, and therefore, you know, he loves us with such powerful love, um, because um, he's eternal, and he has no beginning in the e e or end, and his love has no beginning or end. It's huge. If you put all of the love... In this world, all of the good feelings that you could find that have ever existed and squashed them together, it wouldn't come close to how he feels about us. That's how much he loves us, you know. Um, when we cry out to the name, the most powerful name in the universe, the name above every name for help, our soul is transformed and born again. So we're able to enter the kingdom of heaven. Um, when I had my NDE, I was not able to enter because my misdeeds had made a wall in between heaven and me. So paradise will open up to you, but if you don't have Jesus Christ, you won't be able to go through because of the wall, the sin. Eh, my arm's getting sore. Um, but, you know, I just want to tell you that Jesus, he loves you so, so much with such a beautiful love and that whole inside us you know and we go everywhere to to try and fill it but we can't and never will be able to because that's the place that jesus christ is meant to fill that is the throne of the holy spirit where that hole is 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 
is meant to be for when you cry out to Jesus for help and you're born again. The Holy Spirit lives there and fills it. And he is there with you to the ends of the earth. He, you know, you'll never ever be alone again if you have Jesus. Um, he'll never leave or forsake you and he's faithful. Uh, um, you know, when we're unfaithful, he's still faithful. And, um, yeah, he loves us so much. Um, this life is spiritual, so when we step over, if we haven't cried out to Jesus for help, you know, we won't be able to enter heaven. And I know that 